all farmer dre back as another beautiful day here on the farm but i want to thank everybody for stopping by if you guys haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe and go ahead and smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever i do upload a video all righty so we have moses here he's potting up all these extra plants in these one gallon pots here from the uh high tunnel and we got a bunch of Carolina gold and a few Carolina golds, a bunch of red deuce. And I might just treat these. I thought about it. And I might just line these up in here and just grow them and train them in the greenhouse. In a pot and treat them more, more like a hydroponic system. Because I, I kind of want to know some more uh, experience in that field. But I don't know. I, I, we might just sell them. But who knows? I mean, we got the plants extra. So why not? But today, I'm going to go ahead and start a bunch more plants for high tunnel number three and four so high tunnel number four we're getting done is getting done here at val's place here uh tomorrow or end of the week got to pull plastic on that so we uh, i'm starting tomatoes today for high tunnel number three and that'll be our second batch of tomatoes second planting of tomatoes and at the same time i'm gonna do the same thing for val's uh high tunnel number four there so yeah that's what the plan is for today start more tomato seeds i should have done this last week but we didn't move all the tomatoes out of here yet so i didn't want to get too crowded in here and the thing about germane tomatoes now that it's getting a lot warmer, I'm going to go ahead and put that tarp over them with the heaters. I want to be about 80 degrees until they all germinate and then start cranking them out, pumping them out. And by the first week of April, first or second week of April, I want them to be ready to go to be transplanted. But we had some exciting news this morning. So we had the uh, propane guys come out this morning. They went ahead and set up the tank there and they were out here early this morning. So Adrian and I, we didn't have anything ready last night. So we went ahead and dug everything this morning and... Um, the propane tank and here in missouri i'm not sure what the federal laws are where you guys are at but here in missouri it's got to be the tank has got to be 10 foot away from any building even if it's a building that you are heating or any other building so around here especially on our, our farm here you know we could have put it somewhere out in the middle of the field but we didn't want that one to be right here close to the other high tunnels because if we potentially need more um uh, propane heaters and the rest of them they won't do that but we put it right here and they only had a 250 gallon tank in stock so i called them last week and they said they're going to get back with me i was like hey man i'm i need the heater asap as soon as possible you know just because i'm sick and tired of waking up in the middle of the night trying to get that water so the water so far is great but i just need my sleep you know i just got to recover so and we had the heater we hung that and now it, it, should, it was just ready to go so they had the small they just bring the smallest tank they had here so it's a 250 gallon a propane tank and they said if we knew, need a bigger one he's gonna go ahead and start finding me a, a 500 gallon or a thousand gallon tank we're gonna go ahead and set it right there but for now for a couple weeks this is gonna work for the 250 gallon tank it's full propane is running i gotta go and buy a thermostat and some uh, some cords and extension cords and whatnot but yeah the propane tank is ready to go so let's go ahead and check that out so that's it right there and i also need to buy the uh, exhaust flue there to go outside for because this is a greenhouse heater so all the fumes and stuff get pulled out of there with that blower so yeah we got propane here got to turn on that valve and make sure the power is working make sure the thermostat is on and then we should be good to go with that but these tomato plants they've been growing i mean these big dinas here they've grown a couple inches since we planted them so it's uh got to get them going and start growing here another thing we did early on it's, it's been a busy morning another thing we did early on this morning the crew out we had i had the crew out here and uh, we went ahead and pulled off all of the the uh, um, either the infected or dead flower leaves, not the yeah fl the leaves off the strawberries here. So all the leaves that had some kind of a issue or they dried up from the cold or something, we went ahead and pulled those off because these things are they they already started blooming there. So that's gonna be that's gonna, that's a strawberry right there. So we don't want to have any other disease issues. So we went ahead and cleaned them all up. And I gotta come through here and still clean off the center of the rows there. But you guys remember how these monterey's looked? And now look at them, yeah. It looks like the uh, plants are a little rough looking, but you know, now that they start blooming, I gotta start getting on those sprays and making sure we don't have any other uh, disease issues. So anyway, this is this is a tomato video. I don't know why I get so excited and show you guys this all the time because we're doing so much here on the farm here lately, but let's go start sowing tomatoes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start sowing the uh, tomatoes in these uh, 50 cell count trays. And these are the plug tray that the strawberries came in. So they are so, man, I can't get these unstuck. Come on. Anyways, you guys get the point here. You guys get the point. 50 cell count trays here. Fills up a soil. So that means I don't have to transplant them anymore. We're just going to go ahead and transplant them straight in the high tunnel out of these. So I'm going to go get the um, 
germination mix and go ahead and start putting them in here. Alrighty, so you guys are wondering what kind of germination mix we use. So we use this burger uh, BM2. It's a seed germination propagation mix, so it's really soft. It's a soilless uh, mixture, so it has no actual soil. It's just peat moss, perlite, and some other... I'm not exactly sure. But this bag right here is three cubic yards. So this is what I use to germinate all my seeds just because it creates a nice soft bed for my tomato seeds. And whenever we do trans or whenever we do seed, it just makes them easier. The only downside to this system, and it's not really a downside, but for the home gardener, for you guys, it doesn't have any fertilizer in it. So you do have to consistently uh, ir uh, fertigate or fertilize whenever you do water just because to keep those plants going. I know some like miracle Grow or stuff like that, they have uh, fertilizers already in the bags but this does not so it's it requires i mean we we fertilize anyways but just letting you guys know that this does not have any fertilizer in it so i'm gonna go ahead and start uh filling up these trays here and if you guys are wondering the mixture that uh, moses is using here is just some uh leftover peat moss that we had with some extra party mix i think it's a miracle girl mix and just kind of made a sloppy mess there and started transplanting it but these they're the prime seeds this is what i need to do right here to fill this up i'm gonna go ahead and turn it open this bag here and get started so Mo's going to go ahead and start seeding. He's got the red deuce and uh, one seed per hole. And if he puts two, it's fine. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and... That's not what you said off camera. <laughs> hey, I mean, these seeds cost money, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, go ahead and fill those up. I'm going to go ahead and continue filling up these trays here. That's it. So whenever we got done seeding everything, I ear watered everything nicely, and then I had to leave to go get the supplies for the heater. But we have 14 trays or 15 trays here total. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, four. No, we have 14 trays of red deuce and three trays of the Carolina Gold. So that makes 750 tomato seeds planted. So out of those, we'll split up into two tunnels there. So it's a little extra. We planted. Um, Two extra trays of red deuce per tunnel and then uh, extra tray of the uh, Carolina Gold for each tunnel individually. So then that just makes us have enough extras. And then whenever, you know, by then, by the time it's time for us to transplant, we'll, we'll have plenty of time to transplant some if we have any extras doing my side. But we're going to go ahead and let these grow in here like this and then uh, just let them grow. So now let's go ahead and see what we're doing in there. So it got dark on us. We just got done. Connecting, making sure that heater works. We have some problems with some wiring up at front. But now it works, and uh, I was shocked. It went from 50 degrees to 65 in like five minutes. So that heater puts out some serious heat. I'm gonna see if the tank is at 84% right now. So I'll see how much propane it waste all night. But I mean, it won't use more than four or 5%. I, I mean, if it does, well, so be it. I mean, it won't kick off on and on as much as I think. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm just predicting this because I've never dealt with this, these kind of greenhouse heaters. But we got the wood stuff going, got the propane going. So, uh, you know, that's part of it. So we got dark on us using this light here. So we're uh, not too bad, not too bad. Alrighty, y'all. So this is going to be pretty much it for today. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day, and we will see you next time.